We want to talk to you about Unforgotten. So this is mm. a new ITV drama. Everyone's saying that it was the next broad church. It's fantastic. It starts this Thursday. It does. Um, and this is a, a, a crime that happened 39 years ago. And you are uh, Detective Sergeant Sonny Khan. And you're alongside Nicola Walker, who plays the DCI. Mm. So how much can you tell us without being shot for giving the plot away? That's it. Thanks very much, <laughs> folks. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a cold case. I mean, in the first episode, uh, you know, we embark on this, and, and there, are, there are questions that are thrown up uh, through the first episode, which should we be investigating an old case? You know, we have limited resources, etc. Uh, but um, at the end of the first episode, we find a diary which leads us to these people of interest that we then carry us through the rest of the series. But also, I think what I really like about it, uh, and it's, it's, it's a fantastic show despite me being in it, but it is that... Um, you spend as much time looking at what happens, uh, you know, when people get the knock on the door. You know, people, somebody has kept a secret for 40 years, mm. and each of those little mini dramas could have been a series in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's as much time given to that as there is to the kind of detecting work. Um, and by the end of it, you know, you will find out who done it. Is it is it like telly law that every single drama has to be about the police and the police work? It seems to be there's so many detective series. How is it? How do they stand out these days? I, th I mean, they, they. I mean, they've always been popular. And the thing is that with a good detective series, you, we, the viewers, are the detective because we discover the clues mm. at the same time as the, you know, the, as the character. I think does. that's why people love them, don't they? Yeah. We're, all, we're all secret armchair detectives mm. trying to work out. Is it right that you've filmed two endings and you, not even you and the cast know? They filmed uh, another shot. They did another shot at the end. And when I was doing uh, ADR, which is a fancy word for doing your voiceover stuff, mm. at the end. Um, I asked which which one they'd used if they'd used that shot, and the producer said, "I'm not telling you." So oh, I don't know. Yeah, but unusually, it, yeah. sorry, unusually in this, you're not a police officer that's got a gambling addiction or I was alcohol that, problem. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right, story. psoriasis or something. <laughs> you know. um, but that was—I mean—that's an, another form of detective shows that, that has been very, very popular. That the, the de detective, uh, him or herself, has a personal problem they have to overcome mm. in order to solve the thing. And because we don't, you know, it's not a calling for us, it's a job uh, for, for Nicola's character and myself. Um, it means that you've got more time to spend on these fascinating characters and their families. And particularly what, you know, what sort of pressures uh, one kind of has to deal with, with keeping a secret. You know, you are mm. as, as weak as your biggest secret. And would you be a good detective in real life, do you think? Do you fancy yourself as a bit of a... Yeah, I think I'd be pretty good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What qualities do you, have you got that would make a good detective? Uh, I can grow a moustache. <laughs> <True. laughs> so, therefore, <laughs> very, very good at disguises. You need it to grow like that so you can do all that. But yes, do that <laughs> thing. <laughs> That's right, be a Poirot-type detective. Yeah. yeah, I think that... Um, I, was, I remember talking to a barrister once who said that, you know, anyone can, can you know, keep a secret, but it's very difficult to keep a secret under cross-examination. And that's the thing, when you're questioned by experts, that's when your secret, no matter how kind of watertight mm -hmm. you think it is, mm -hmm. begins to fall apart. And that's kind of fascinating. Mm -hmm. Sounds fan fascinating. Six episodes, as I said, it starts this Thursday. It um, was just so boring. <laughs> and, um, music and money uh, and the girls. <laughs> and, oh, oh, it was like, so boring. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> right, Nikki, off camera, though, did you get on? <laughs>